morning guys, how you doing everyone? I'm um, Sean from Dash Kickers, Carl from Dash Kickers. Morning. Um, we're up early and in the car, so that can only mean one thing. Autosports. Autosport 2020. Woo! Um, yeah, so we're on the way. We're gonna go check out some car porn and cool engineering and all that sort of stuff. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that should be a good day, shouldn't it, mate? Should be a good day, so we'll try and bring a video later on. Yeah, so I think I think this is just gonna be sort of summing up our day and a couple of interviews with people, hopefully. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. Not making too many plans. Just want to enjoy the day. Yeah. <laughs>
at the Dirt Rally um, sim stand, and I think we're gonna have a go. Carl's gonna have a go. go, see what he thinks. Let's find out how it goes. Had a go on Dirt Rally, um, we've played it in Codemasters. Carl, impressions? I enjoyed it. It wasn't proper virtual reality, but I enjoyed it. It's hard to get used to, but it doesn't come close to it. doesn't come close to it. Every old car. No, but. No idea. It's a good start. We're going to do a bit more investigation and see what we find. Yeah. back in the garage now um, hopefully you watched the video and you sort of saw what we saw at Autosport um, so yeah Carl thoughts Autosport 2020 how did you find it it's always a good show to go to uh, a little bit disappointing compared to last year and probably yeah, the year that. before yeah mm -hmm. uh, a lot less cars there this year mm -hmm. and yeah it's all very very high-end stuff now it's difficult for us to really uh -huh. uh, Get into that sort of thing, really. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it, it's a good day out. Oh, it's God, yeah. go, going, to, going to any car show, any car event is a good day yeah. out. It, it's nice to be involved in all that sort of thing, but I was definitely a little bit disappointed when I got home on Friday night because it, I don't think it hit the expectations of what I wanted from the day. Yeah. Um, there were certain things I wanted to do, certain people I wanted to talk to, and there was just, there wasn't that there. It's like you said, there, a lot of people weren't there. You no, know, there was a lot of, I didn't see yeah. any time attack stuff. There was, Quaif. Half a drift car, yeah, Quaif, Quaif they? engineering, massive, massive firms like that didn't have stands. No. Um, uh, there was a lot of Formula One stuff, but that. So I think the problem with what I sport now is I think not it's got not much rally stuff either, was there? Really? Not, no, not. I mean, the, so the WRC. Ford were there. The WRC stuff we knew was being yeah. taken out a bit, which is a big blow. But there's still not enough for the levels of motorsport there for me anymore. It's. I mean, staying on the rally note. I mean. There weren't really sort of a lot of amateur rally cars there. They were all high end WRC cars or the classic cars. Well, the yeah. really cool classic yeah. rally cars. Like, oh, yeah, it's amazing to see, but there was no one to actually sort of get involved with. Yeah. I mean, from our point of view, we wanted to make contacts. We wanted to plan some things and events throughout the year to go and talk to them. I don't feel like we've got much. There's a couple of people we spoke to, yeah. but I don't feel like we got anywhere Shout near out much to Club Racing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll go back to Club Racing in a bit. Um, but so like time attack there was nothing there there was no there was half a drift car yeah there was a bdc calendar that we saw but that was it yeah um formula g there was no real thing there i know drift. Some, I some of the guys there at the weekend there but weren't really much drift no stuff there either low level motorsport i think if club racing hadn't turned up i think that would have been really poorly represented as well yeah it would have um so yeah shout out to club racing uk um oh nick Hi Nick, <laughs> we had a good chat with Nick, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a nice good talk, uh, we've got some things planned throughout the year, we're definitely going to go and see the, those guys at a, a race. Well, Club Racing UK and Nick, them guys do an awesome job for motorsports. And, and Nick from Tin Tops as and well. And Nick from Tin yeah, Tops as well, yeah. them guys do an awesome job for motorsports, I mean, they are on our sort of level, they compete with budgets, very similar to ours, and you know, like I said, without them there, it would have just been mm. million pound supercars, and 
the SCO oh, yeah. Club. And Especially the one stand where it was all sort of Liberty Walk and, and Yanni and all that, yeah. so, which is... I don't get that being at Autosport, yeah, it's not race why, car stuff. You can see why people would want to be there to put their cars in front of people, but it is meant to be. Mm. It's meant to be about motorsport. So it? is, I think, it's, I think oh, for me, Autosport's last year, I think there's a scope now for a new show. I think so, yeah. Something not so elite, so Formula 1, top level WRC, so you can take all that out, yeah. and just something a bit more from club level and up, showcasing all the different championships, yeah. Showing, and even the engineering, there's a lot of elite engineering people there. There was, from last year, there's quite a few people missing that we spoke to last year. Uh, yeah, there was. Uh, it, you know, the, the, one of the things going to Autosport, well, there was always a couple of guys there that had nuts and bolts. Yeah. And just a random all piece stuff of, you can all never that sort get. of stuff. Yeah, all the stuff you can never get. Those guys weren't there, there was no, no. small retailers there, it was all elite engineering stuff, and for me yeah. that's... It's a little, I mean, it's at a bad level, and yeah, I, I can possibly. imagine a lot of people going there. Yeah. So, but I mean, one of the things that I think puts it in perspective is when we spoke to Nick from Club Racing, yeah. and he was telling us about the initial quote for a stand price. Yeah. Which I'm not going to put the details out there because it's, it's, not, it's not our place. But yeah. if that's the sort of price they're quoting, I can understand why people aren't going anymore. Okay. I mean, yeah. We got a really cheap price on our entry ticket, did, which yeah. was great, and it ended up costing us more to park <laughs> than it used to get in, <laughs> yeah. and. Uh, I don't know how they could justify no. parking fees. I mean, I don't want to sound like an old man moaning, <laughs> but I'm an old man moaning. <laughs> it's, I, I don't think it's as good as it was, and I think there's definitely scope for I think something there is, else. Yeah, I think there is, yeah. To um, focus on focus on people who have our sort of budget, who want to get into most sport. But see, for me, when I was younger, that was what, that's what it was all about. It was for younger people trying to get into most sport and, you know, seeing all these championships and talking yeah. to people and slowly declines. I don't feel like there was any, if you were trying to get into motorsport, I don't feel like there was any... Other than the club race in the UK, there's nobody else there. No. 750 motor club were there, but again, that is a very expensive championship. Uh, Running Cross, I know, are there at the weekend, so they're good as well, but... Uh, we saw that auto test car. Yeah, but... Yeah. There was there was nothing around it. There was no sort no, of no. There's no. There's no. It people, had a piece of A4 on it. Yeah. Really, there was no people no. recruiting for it or saying no. you could do this for this price and that. And so I mean, I don't know. Maybe we're biased as well because we we did some demos and stuff outside a couple of years ago. Yeah. And there was more stuff like that. There was go karting. There was drift sessions. There was Fiat had a thing with the five hundred going they did on. It. They did there was it. us doing passenger rides. It made it much more of a fun show. Interactive show. Yeah. I just. I don't know, but... We are just grumpy old men, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> rather, than, rather than getting panned down with the negatives, <laughs> Carl, your favourite car of Autosport 2020. Voxel Astra. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. honest, there's a Voxel Astra GSI. An G- old, probably it, probably an old G-Ridge. Wasn't it a GTE? Was it a GTE? Or? I thought it was a GTE. Oh, yeah, I think the GSI was a Mark III, yeah. With the electronic dash and the mega Yeah, that's, all, yeah. that's my sort of thing, to be fair. I do love cars like that. Uh, it was super clean. It had budget tyres, I but... It was super, that really wise me yeah, on. Yeah, trust, trust the tyre fitter. Yeah, yeah it just wise me on. The, the car was super clean. Yeah. I, mean, I already know what Shaw's favourite car was. But. I don't know, actually, because I know we spoke <laughs> about it, but mine changes. So, uh, R34 GTRs, I just think, are like the ultimate. I think Godzilla. That, that throws back to my grandchildren yeah, days. Godzilla. That is the thing. Yeah. Um, but there was a the really, legend. really clean Datsun 240Z. It was, actually. Which, with an engine conversion. Which 70s I, brown. The colour, not so much, but... The, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Datsun 240Zs. I like Mighty Car Mars, what they've done with the yeah. RB26. Yeah. And I was speaking to the Nissan Owners Club and they were saying that one of the things that people are looking to do now is stick the uh, the 3.8 from the R35 GTR in it, which to me is just... <laughs> just <laughs> I can't, a car that cool with that sort of drivetrain and engine just must, must be mega. So if anyone's got one, let us know because I want to come and see it. No one will have one because they all be dead. There is that, yeah. A real drive car with that engine in. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> Probably please. nobody. Um, I think if you start looking at like competitive cars for me, uh, the WRC Focus, Conor McRae era to Focus. Yeah. Again, Conor McRae Rally was a big yeah. factor on my, me, so seeing that sort of car is really quite cool. Uh, uh, what, what's your what's the favourite race car you saw there then? Probably the RS200. Or any uh, of the Group okay. B cars, really. Yeah. I am a massive Group B fan, so yeah. 
any of the Group B cars, I mean, I'm happy to look at all day. To be fair, what was nice to see as well, so the RS200, it's great, it's a unicorn car. Yeah, yeah. But even more of a unicorn, which I've never seen one before, was the XR3 RS2000? No, oh, the rear-wheel drive, it was the RS1700. RS1700? They were built by which, Ford, and yeah. they were prototype rear-wheel drive escorts. I think there's only like 17 ever made, and 5 left. But yeah, it's, it looked uh, pretty mega. It, yeah, I, I can imagine that. I think it was just built... Drive. I think it was built for rallycross, but somebody will probably correct it. Yeah, no, it looked, uh, it looked, it looked fun. It might have even been built for that Group S, but I'm not sure, to be fair. But yeah. It's a monster all the same. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I think rather than ramble and moan like two grumpy old men. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean... We've got things to do, we've got things to do. Uh, we'll probably still go to Auto next year. We'll still probably do 2021 yeah, because it's a local yeah. show for us. And it's, like I said... It's, a, it's still a day out of cars. Yes, it's, it's, it's a day out of motorsport. So, if you haven't done it, go and do it. I just, I'm personally looking forward to more being involved with races this year, going to actual tracks and speaking to people yeah. and being involved with stuff. I think. Any you know, advice about autosport? Try and buy your tickets early so you get a good discount. Yeah. Uh, try not to pay full price, so you might be a bit disappointed. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, that's what I'd say. So um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll we'll leave it there. I mean, we did get to speak to a couple of people, so there are plans. In the pipeline, exciting um, plans. Hopefully, no. <laughs> ge genuinely, I'm really, really excited. The next yeah. couple of weeks could be huge for us. Yeah. Um, I'm trying not to get too excited. <laughs> but you I'm can't help here. <laughs> you can't help it. So we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, we'll we'll have another video. Either way, you. this year is going to be a cool year. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be involved in stuff. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, keep liking the page. Keep following the. Fill in the posts and the comments and stuff. I'm not going to say it. Click the bell. Yeah, you said it. Click the bell. <laughs> All right. uh, yeah. Uh, we'll sign off there. Yep. See you in the next one. See you later. Bye. Carl is addicted to car cleaning stuff. Oh, we have been to so many.